Refugees escaping the violence in Syria often take few belongings, but they carry with them the physical and emotional scars of war. Nine-year-old Ahmed Akalaf lost both his arms to a bomb that killed three of his siblings. Yeah, I have so, so many nightmares. I wake up uh, screaming uh, every night and then my father, he comes and he wakes me up and holds me. The U.S. could see 10,000 Syrian refugees arrive this year. Many will have post-traumatic stress disorder. Resettlement agencies want to promote emotional wellness, but a lack of Arabic translators is a problem and symptoms can sometimes take years to emerge. So they're sad about the loved ones they've lost. They've lost their country, they've lost their culture. They have the post-traumatic stress disorder with the nightmares, the flashbacks, the poor sleep. Dr. Ahmed Hussam Halak was a surgeon in Syria until his hospital was bombed. He's now recovering in the U.S., but it's been hard because his family is stuck in Lebanon. You know, it adds a lot to my pain and to my, you know, it negatively impact my, you know, recovery process. Given that, you know, my wife and my kids, they're living in a country that has no government, no president, you know, and any time might just go bad. So it's a constant fear that I'm living in. Like Dr. Halak, young Ahmed would like to stay in the U.S. After eight months here, he says he sleeps better now. He recently visited Washington to hear the State of the Union address with Massachusetts Congressman Seth Moulton. And he's looking forward to getting prosthetic limbs. Yeah, I want to have my arms back so that I can be independent and help myself. Focusing on dreams instead of nightmares. Kathy Matheson, Associated Press.